Purpose On Purpose Podcast. If you are in chaos, they too will likely either be in chaos or feel the chaos. Hey, it's Scott Beebe with the Business On Purpose Podcast. Time to be liberated from the chaos of working in your business. And let us help you get positioned to let your business burn. Go to letyourbusinessburn.com. My new book is out. It's ready to rock and roll. We've gotten some good feedback so far. It's been exciting. A couple of misspelled words. We've got to fix that. <laughs> That's just the reality of a first book, I think. But uh, hey, it tells a good story, right? Time management for owners. Last podcast episode, I talked about time management for key leaders. And when I got done, literally when I finished the podcast, I was like, wait a second. This is... This has got to start with the owners. The owners have to be the leader in this. Now, does that mean that key leaders cannot lead this charge? No, of course not. It's just harder when there's not support, uh, enthusiasm, and modeling coming from the owners. And so you as an owner, a lot of what we hear is I spend my days putting out fires. I spend my days in constant chaos. I spend my days spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. I think it was Bob Newhart in some episode, he was playing a counselor to a lady who had these really kind of irrational fears. And his, his replying wisdom was really simplistic and quite forceful. And it was simply, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> that was it. I'm going to give you something a little beyond just stopping it. We're actually toying with a new core value, replacing one of our existing core values. And the new core value that we're toying with right now is equipped to problem solve. Equipped to problem solve. I heard a statement, a buddy of mine, Shane Sams, told me a few weeks back. He said, never rob someone of the opportunity to solve their own problem. Man, it floored me when I heard it. I thought, wow. One of the things we've got to be able to do is the Business on Purpose platform and this collective of heroic small business owners is the ability to be able to equip you to solve your own problem. Because when you solve your own problem with tools, of course, it it, it breeds a whole spectrum of learning when that happens. So in this area of solving your own problem, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is we talk about a non-negotiable weekly schedule. How can you as an owner set the example for time management Well, one of those ways is a non-negotiable weekly schedule. I do get a lot of pushback on this because it feels invasive to an owner's world. Here's what's interesting. All it does in a non-negotiable weekly schedule is impose manufactured boundaries, self-imposed boundaries. And those self-imposed boundaries, ironically, paradoxically, bring freedom. Self-imposed boundaries bring freedom. When you subject yourselves to the boundaries of an airline fuselage, those are boundaries, it now gives you the freedom to fly around the world. But if you choose not to subject yourselves to the to an airliner's boundaries, a plane's boundaries of a fuselage, then you don't have the freedom to fly around the world. When you subject yourselves to the boundaries of a non-negotiable weekly schedule, it gives you the freedom to fly around your week. And although you've got some boundary spaces in there, you've got a lot more freedom than you used to have because things are blocked up. They're in specific places. So what are a couple of the tools of a non-negotiable weekly schedule? Well, I would encourage you to start with a simple little spreadsheet, honestly. And in that spreadsheet, just make a column that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Or if you work on Saturday or Sunday, whatever the days are that you typically work, and and that's uh, across the the top rows, I should say, not columns. And then along the left-hand side on the first column, just put 7 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, all the way down, the hours that you would typically work. And then you want to take the big rocks of your week, weekly team meetings, Uh, Some of you might be design production. Some of you, your big rocks might be sales calls. Some of your big rocks might be invoicing, um, estimating, whatever it might be. You want to take those really big chunks of things that you do where you spend hours per week and not just, you know, piddly minutes here or there, but you might spend four hours on that kind of project in a week or 18 hours in a week. You want to take those big rocks and start to chunk them up 
in each one of the days, or maybe it's just all on one day. Who knows what's best for you? But during those chunks, you are unavailable. You're taking the mindset, I know I've talked about this before, of a dental chair. When you're in that block, you're in a dental chair. And what I mean by that is if somebody were to call you in a dental chair, you get your mouth wide open, somebody's trying to talk to you, it's that awkward moment, right? Well, you can't answer your phone, you can't respond to email because you're in a dental chair. And so those blocks become your dental chair and you're unavailable to respond to text messaging. You're unavailable to respond on demand to email. You're unavailable to respond. You're not available because you're in a dental chair during those times. Well, Scott, what if now you're going to, your brain's going to fire back with all sorts of what ifs. And what I'm going to fire back with is you've never tried this. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to try this over a period of about three months. You're going to fail and fall down and get back up and just look up every day and look at your ideal weekly schedule with those big rocks of time. You've got free time in there. You've got open space, white space, those sorts of things in there as well. So if a customer can only meet on Wednesday afternoon at two o'clock and that's the time you've got blocked out for invoicing, shift that invoicing to another open space within your week. You don't want every uh, time block uh, locked up with, with task. So shift that to another open time during your week and then go spend time with the customer. But make sure that when you go back to that invoicing time, your phone's off and your email's off. Just try that little tactic. Hey, we're here to help you. We've got the four steps to business freedom for small business owners. Just go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision and you can get started with a free module on how to articulate your vision story or you can see everything that we do. Letyourbusinessburn.com, my new book is out. We have chocked full of templates in there for you to be able to serve you. And that's what we want to do to help liberate you from the chaos of working in your business. Go try it now. Weekly schedule, non-negotiable, set it up, big rocks. We'll see you next time right here on the Business On Purpose podcast.